Step into the world of timeless humor with The Phil Silvers Show, a classic TV series from 1955 that's known for its funny moments. Get ready for a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and even a few touching moments. Ever wondered what happened behind the scenes while making this show? Well, hang tight because we've got some funny, surprising, and a bit sad facts to share about The Phil Silvers Show. But before we spill the details, we want to hear from you. Do you have a special memory connected to this TV series? Maybe a personal story about how it inspired or affected your life. Share your experiences in the comments below because we're eager to hear your stories. So keep watching as we uncover the layers of this show and don't forget to share your most special memory or personal experience related to it. Your stories make this journey even more enjoyable. And now let the laughter begin. In the world of classic television, The Phil Silvers Show debuted in 1955, making a lasting impression on popular culture. The show, known for its timeless humor, quickly became a staple in households across the nation, connecting with audiences of all ages. As we explore the show's influence, it's clear that its reception and its time played a crucial role in shaping comedic television. The show received widespread praise for its clever writing, perfect comedic timing, and Phil Silver's charismatic performance as the lead character. Viewers were attracted to the energetic vibe of the show, finding comfort in its ability to bring laughter, surprises, and touching moments. Silver's portrayal of Sergeant Bilko, a scheming yet lovable character, showcased his comedic talent. The impact of the Phil Silvers show reached beyond TV screens, leading to a series of spin-offs that expanded the universe of beloved characters. These adaptations allow would fans to discover new aspects of the Bilko world, adding depth to the show's legacy. Merchandise related to the Phil Silvers show became a cultural phenomenon, from Bilko-themed board games to quirky memorabilia. The show's influence extended beyond episodes, with fans embracing tangible reminders of the laughter-filled journey they shared with the characters. Moreover, the show's impact echoed through time, influencing future generations of comedians and writers. The humor of the Phil Silvers show left a lasting mark on the comedic landscape, inspiring storytellers to explore the complexities of human nature through laughter. In summary, The Phil Silvers Show's reception in its time and its subsequent influence on popular culture are undeniable. Beyond the laughs it provided, the show's legacy lives on through spin-offs, merchandise, and the ongoing inspiration it offers to those who appreciate the art of comedy. Reflecting on this journey, one thing is clear The Phil Silvers Show has become a part of television history, leaving a lively and lasting legacy. Amidst the humor and charm of the Phil Silvers show, certain episodes stand out as memorable moments that have become ingrained in viewers' memories. In one such standout episode, the court martial Sergeant Bilko finds himself facing a mock trial orchestrated by his subordinates. The clever writing and Phil Silvers' impeccable comedic timing shine as he navigates the absurdity of the trial with his trademark wit, leaving the audience in stitches. In another amusing escapade titled The WAC, Bilko masterminds a plan to boost the morale of the female soldiers stationed at Fort Baxter. His portrayal of Bilko's scheming yet lovable character reaches new heights as he orchestrates a series of comedic misadventures, showcasing the show's ability to deliver laughter with a touch of heart. Beyond the laughs, the Phil Silvers show also explores touching moments that tug at the heartstrings. In the episode Bilko's Grand Hotel, he transforms the barracks into a luxurious hotel for a visiting general, inadvertently creating an atmosphere of camaraderie among the soldiers. This heartwarming twist reveals another side to Bilko, highlighting the show's ability to balance humor with genuine, heartfelt moments. Additionally, the eating contest episode delves into the competitive nature of the soldiers as they engage in an outrageous eating competition. The episode not only provides ample laughs, but also offers a glimpse into the camaraderie and friendships forged within the military setting, showcasing the versatility of the show in blending humor with relatable human connections. These standout moments exemplify the show's ability to elicit laughter while capturing the essence of the human experience. Whether orchestrating comedic trials, boosting morale, creating makeshift grand hotels, or engaging in outrageous contests, the show's charm lies in its capacity to entertain while offering relatable and heartwarming moments. Terry Carter stands as the only surviving cast member of the classic television series, emphasizing the passage of time since its debut in 1955. 
In 2009, the U.S. Postal Service honored early U.S. television programs, including the Phil Silver Show, with commemorative stamps. The stamps featured Phil Silvers in his role as Master Sergeant Ernest G. Bilko. Mickey Freeman, the last surviving star after Terry Carter, passed away in 2010, closing a chapter on the original cast. The show's lasting influence is evident in its inclusion alongside other well-known programs like The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet and I Love Lucy. The issuance of commemorative postage stamps reflects the show's impact on early television memories. Phil Silvers, as the scheming yet lovable Bilko, remains a symbol of the show's influence, honored alongside other legendary figures in the early TV memories stamp collection. The timeless humor of the series continues to resonate with Mickey Freeman's passing marking the end of an era. The recognition given to the Phil Silvers show through commemorative stamps immortalizes its contribution to the golden age of television, capturing a snapshot of a bygone era. The influence extends beyond the small screen, with a stamp serving as a reminder of the laughter-filled journey shared with unforgettable characters. In reflection, the series' impact lives on through Terry Carter, the commemorative stamps, and the timeless humor that remains in the collective memory of television enthusiasts. The show, with its clever writing and charismatic performances, has left a lasting impression on the history of television. In the world of classic television, The Phil Silver Show, a timeless comedy that debuted in 1955, stands out for its genuine humor. The opening credits reveal a fictitious but carefully crafted as army serial number for Sergeant Bilko, RA 15,040,2699, following the accurate numbering protocol for that era. This number discloses Bilko's voluntary enlistment and processing by the service command covering Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. To add an authentic touch to the show, George Kennedy, a U.S. Army veteran, served as a technical advisor and made his screen debut with a bit part as MP, Sergeant Kennedy. The show's unaired pilot, You'll Never Get Rich, surfaced from Nat Hiken's private collection, featuring Jack Warden as Corporal Steve Henshaw. However, when the real pilot, titled The New Recruits, aired, Alan Melvin replaced Warden, persisting as Corporal Henshaw throughout the series. An interesting aspect lies in certain episodes' uniqueness, such as the court martial, where Bilko faces a mock trial orchestrated by his subordinates. Phil Silver's impeccable comedic timing shines, navigating the absurdity with trademark wit. In the WAC, Bilko's schemes to boost female soldiers' morale showcase his lovable yet scheming character, blending laughter with heart. Terry Carter, the sole surviving cast member, highlights the passage of time since the show's 1955 debut. In 2009, commemorative stamps from the U.S. Postal Service honored early TV programs, including The Phil Silver Show, featuring Phil Silvers as Master Sergeant Bilko. The stamps capture a snapshot of a bygone era, preserving the show's influence on television history. As Mickey Freeman, the last surviving star, passed away in 2010, the stamps symbolize the end of an era. The recognition bestowed would upon the show through these stamps goes beyond the small screen, becoming a cherished reminder of the laughter-filled journey shared with unforgettable characters. In reflection, the series' influence lives on through Terry Carter, the commemorative stamps, and the timeless humor in the collective memory of television enthusiasts.